Hello, welcome to this short video on how to easily get voicemail from your website visitors. I am Partha Bhattacharya, founder of Hubskills.com, the destination for helpful tips and resources for startup websites. In this video, I am going to explain two tools that allow your visitors to record and send their voicemail from your website. The first one is SpeakPipe. SpeakPipe allows you to embed a voicemail widget in a website like the one you see here at the middle right of the browser. And here in my website hubskills.com at middle left. You can have this tab located at the top or bottom of the browser on either side. As I click the tab, this small box opens in the middle on an overlay. Let me click the button Start Recording. As I do this, the Adobe Flash Player settings asks me for access to camera and microphone by SpeakPipe. Let me click Allow. And now I am ready to record my message. SpeakPipe gives up to 5 minutes time to record your message which I guess is good enough for most voicemails. After you have spoken your message, click stop to stop your recording. You can now listen to your recorded voice by clicking the button play. If you are not happy with your voicemail, simply discard the recording and start afresh. If your recording is ok, go ahead and enter your name and email and click the button send. SpeakPipe on behalf of hubskills.com will send a copy each to the email ID you have mentioned and also to hubskills admin email address. Ok, let me now show you the admin section of SpeakPipe. I sign in to my account and this is the main dashboard for all my recordings. SpeakPipe is in beta and it now offers 200 minutes of storage free. Here, this button allows me to directly send a recording to any email I want. Let me go to the settings page. As you can see, I can use SpeakPipe at three places. First is the website widget. You can set the sidebar button text color and position. Next, set the balloon settings which is a small pop-up that opens for a new visitor to prompt for leaving a message. Finally, you have the dialog settings and also the additional options that captures the name and email of the sender. Ok, now that you have set every detail and saved them, it's time to embed the code in your website. The embed code is given here, which you need to place before the closing body tag on all pages where you want the widget to appear. SpeakPipe gives you an easier option. Let me click this installation guide. And now, as you can see, you can use the widget in a host of CMS platforms, including WordPress. Let me click on WordPress and here you have all the detailed instructions on how to use the code for your WordPress blog. There are tutorials for other blog types like Blogger, Joomla, Tumblr, etc. Ok, let's come back to the settings page and this time we will see how to set up SpeakPipe widget for your Facebook page. It's rather easy. All you have to do is add your Facebook page by clicking this Add Page button. Once it is done, fill up the Facebook app settings in this page and save them. 
take a look at HubSkill's Facebook page. Here comes the Send Voicemail tab. Click on it and you will be taken to the page where the recording pane pops up as you can see here. Good, isn't it? But there is more. Come back to SpeakPipe settings page. And this time, let me click on the tab Voicemail page. Here, you can fill in the details for the Voicemail page. For HubSkills.com, this is the dedicated Voicemail page. Here again, the visitors can record their voicemail to be sent to us. If you are not installing the widget in your website, or even if you are installing it, you can still lead the visitors through a link on your website to this page for recording their voicemail. All in all, SpeakPipe is an excellent tool. It is free for now, as it is in beta. After it is out of beta, there may be changes to the features it offers to the prospective users of their tool. The second app I am going to talk about is Vocado. This is free, but the main difference from SpeakPipe is that it does not store the visitor's voicemail. But that may not be a big deterrent, especially for the budget-conscious startups. Vocado too has a widget, which is a simple recording box. When a visitor clicks the button Click to Record, he has to first allow the Adobe Flash Player settings. Once this is done, you can start your recording. The interface now shows the tab Click to Stop with the red glowing border. After you have recorded your message, click the tab and the recording stops. You now have the option to listen to your recording and if it is not OK, make a fresh recording by clicking the tab Retry. Remember, Vocaro does not store your recording. This means if you press the button Retry, your earlier recording will no longer be available and in its place you will have the new recording. After you are happy with your recording, click this link to save it. You now have many options to use your voice recording. You can embed it in your website or send it by email to whoever you want. You can share your recordings in Facebook, Twitter, StumbleUpon and a host of other social sharing platforms. You also get a QR code or quick response code that can be read by mobile devices like iOS and Android operating systems. Finally, you can download your recording as audio files like MP3, WAV, AUG or FLAC. But that's not all. You may want to upload an audio file from your computer instead of voice recording and avail all the options that Vokaru provides. With so much going for it, you may be wondering how to use Vokaru in your website. Well, that too is available in the form of a widget. Simply copy the code given here and paste it in your website. As it says, you can embed the entire Vokaru and allow your visitors to use Vokaru without leaving your site. Vokaru is a great tool indeed. And so is SpeakPipe. I am sure they will open the way for your website to interact with your visitors more proactively. This video ends here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more tips and resources for your website. Thanks for watching this video.